dot products and cross products. So we have two vectors, A and B. The dot product gives the piece of B that is in the same direction as A. The cross product gives the piece of B that is perpendicular to A. Here's an example problem where we're going to use the dot product to find the angle between two wires. So all we're going to need is the vectors for these two wires and the magnitude of their length, and that'll give us the angle between them just by definition of the dot product. First, break vector AB into its IJK components by just coming down from the top and walking in the direction of the coordinate axes. We can do the same thing for the other cable, AC, so we're starting at the top and just walking along those coordinate axes and grabbing those distances off of there. Then we're going to apply the dot product, I times I, J times J, K times K. Add all those together and that's the left-hand side. For the magnitudes, we're going to use the IJK components again, this time A squared plus B squared plus C squared, gives us the length of each of these cables. So once we have the length of each of these cables, that's going to be the right-hand side of this equation, and that's all we need when we can solve for the angle just using the arc cosine of the dot product and the magnitudes. So we're just looking at the dot product in the numerator divided by the magnitudes in the denominator, and that's the cosine. Go ahead and try these out in Excel. There's a column for each of the wires. Fill in the lengths of those wires, dx, dy, dz. The total length, use the square root function. So just an a squared plus b squared plus c squared to get the overall length of that cable. This is very similar to getting the unit vectors. So here is our other cable, ac. So make sure you see our IJK components for this guy. So nothing in the I direction, going straight down and straight forward, and you can copy over that square root equation for the length. For the dot product, it's X times X, Y times Y, and Z times Z. And you're just going to add those together, sum them together. That's the left-hand side of that dot product. And then here's the magnitudes of the length multiplied by one another, and the arc cosine will give you the angle then between those two cables. So that's kind of a nifty thing you can do with dot products. Here's another example of that using that dot product in Excel just to show you how nice it is to set it up in Excel. Once again, we're going to break our vectors into their x, y, z component, just going from the tail to the head of these things. Get the length of it, square root of dx squared plus dy squared plus dz squared. So there's our first cable. Here's our second cable. We're just walking from a straight up y, straight back in the x direction. And then we can copy and paste that square root equation over and it will update all the cells for us. The dot product, x times x, and then y times y, and z times z, and then we're going to add everything in this column. So that's our dot product. Now we need the magnitude, so we're just multiplying the lengths by one another, and we can calculate our angle using the arc cosine. Remember to use degrees. So pretty fast and easy to solve these guys in Excel.